It's Trade Man vs. B Rogue Part 2. I am so sorry about my first video and not including uh, some important details about what I mean when I say it. So in my last video, I mentioned that Strat Man was being a little bit of a crybaby. Said I might get heat for that, kinda did. What I'm trying to project here is when I say he's being a crybaby about it, I'm more or less talking about the price of what was paid, how he's talking about it as if he put, paid full price, which I think it's really safe to say that he didn't. I think a lot of handshake deals were going on in this. If I'm interested in someone's product, I'm willing to work with them for in exchange Lewis services, right? So I do this all the time. I, I, I mean, there's there's some instances where like, oh, you know, I got a buddy that needs a tune or something like that. I'll, you know, hey, do you need video work for your, like your social media or for whatever, for advertising? I got you. Go out there, get it done. They like it. They like the outcome. They trade that service, right? Or give a heavy discount on it. It's all handshake deals. Now, $52,000 seems like a lot to me too. But knowing the reality of it is that $52,000 wouldn't even pay for like maybe a quarter or half of that. You're looking at like 150 k plus. Minimal. I'm talking minimum. Uh, don't take my word for it. And don't sue me about it because, I mean, I shop at Rock Auto, obviously. You're not going to get much money out of me for saying anything false, right? But when I, if I were in Stradman's shoes, I would be very careful about what I'm saying. Um, only because, yes, you're saying that it's not emotional. You're saying that it's all facts, but I think you took a lot of bullets and pieces and points that you were thinking about while you were emotional about it, and then you put that into a, a, a more calm environment in stating these to make them be presented as facts. I'm not saying they're all lies. I'm not saying they're all lies. I'm just saying maybe it's a little bit of a, uh, a stretch because we're not getting the full story. He just released a video today stating that he doesn't want to talk anymore about it. The damage is done and what they said is said and B-Rogue's Google reviews are now at like one point something before their Google page was actually taken down. It is absolutely destroying this business. I don't think that's fair. He mulls over it just for a second about the B-Rogue situation, about the Gallardo. It's only talked about just for a, a little bit and he moves on. So I have to commend him for that. He actually is standing by his word is that, you know, hey, I made a mention of it, I'm gonna make one mention of it, and I don't wanna talk about it anymore. And yeah, maybe I was a little bit too harsh in saying that someone was being a crybaby about it. I mean, got this wrap done last month. We had the windshield replaced because we had a crack through the driver's side. I was driving down the highway on the way to a wedding, and then this happened. Can I focus? Yep. And then that happened. So, I mean, I can cry about things too. That's the size of that problem is completely minuscule in comparison. But it's definitely something that you're like, oh, I just got this wrap done a month ago. The wrap was just recently done, so please keep it in mind and please don't damage my wrap. They come out, they do their thing. I let him be at his own devices to leave him alone because I just trust the professional. <laughs> I go out there, I even tip him 20 bucks cash and I tell him, hey man, lunch is on me. The guy was super cool. Very chill. My beginnings was out here working on telephone poles all day. You know, I get it. Like, it's it's tough work. And you get underpaid. Am I stressing about it? Well, actually, for the last, like, 30 seconds to a minute, yeah, probably. I think what I was trying to convey in the last video was just merely, hey, look at both sides of the story, and then wonder about what details are actually missing. Hear them out, sure. Everybody deserves to be heard, but... Maybe that's just me being cynical. I just kind of like pluck it out a little bit. And then I say, okay, well, there's some things missing here. That price doesn't match up. And then, you know, these other items don't really match up. And the only thing that you provided was some video clips of it not starting after it was shipped over to your place from Chicago. You were recently out here. What were you doing? Did you take it out for a drive? Did you go out and like go crazy with it or something for a little bit and came back? I don't know. Yeah, that's on B-Rogue. That's on you guys. Oil leak? I mean, you also have to consider something too. What if this delivery driver took it out for a just full send, ripped it down the highway for a little bit, came back to his truck and loaded it on? Like, it's a possibility, guys. It's a possibility. Super unlikely. What happened between Chicago and Stratvan? 
what happened between that time? Were there stops? All I'm saying is question everything. There's got to be something else. Look past the smoke and mirrors. Broke built side of the story. I think they both maybe made mistakes. Maybe there's handshake deals going on for discounts, like heavy discounts in exchange in lieu of some sort of other services, like promotional things. Maybe there was uh, other deals going on, right? Like uh, maybe b Rogue was the last resort because no other shop maybe wanted to touch the thing. And maybe he, Stradman was desperate to actually get it done by somebody, so he went through them because they were the only ones that said yes. I'm just spitballing here, guys. I'm just spitballing. And like I said in my last video, and just like this one, take everything with a grain of salt. These are all opinionated, and I title it as such. Don't want anybody to take me seriously. And then people jump in the comments and take me seriously. Come on, guys. You're better than this. At the end of the day, Stradman did make a mention that he just wanted to speak his piece about it and be done talking about it. But I think that's further from the truth. I think we're going to hear a whole lot more about it, especially with responses, maybe some court legal action. Uh, this isn't over, guys. Stradman did make a statement. Whether it's slanderous or not, it, it affected a business and someone's well-being and a lot of employees that work there. That's the hard truth about it. And it's not going to go silent. I, I, I don't think it will. So let's just let both parties work it out. I think a lot more things are going to come to surface um, because of the complexity of the issue. I think that we're going to hear a whole lot more about this. So with all that said, don't hate me. It's just an opinion, guys. It's all theories. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Um... And yeah, subscribe or something uh, if you want to keep up with this. I'll be following this uh, down the entire path um, because I'm kind of invested now. I want to see what happens and I want to see if I'm right or wrong.